is a torque and angular acceleration problem. I recommend you pause the video when you get to the problem statement, work it out yourself, and then see the rest of how it goes. Here we go, another problem having to do with sports. Baseball batter angularly accelerates a bat. Okay, so from rest of 30 radians per second to 50 milliseconds, so we have to have a um, top view. <laughs> picture. Always got to have a picture, right? Top view of a baseball player. So here is a baseball player, but all you can see of the baseball player is his helmet, like so, and his shoulders. And he's swinging a bat, and the bat starts out someplace here, and then winds up to be someplace here, like this. He's swinging the bat at the ball, right? So here's the bat being swung, great. So what do we know about this? We know it starts from rest, and we know that when finally it reaches the end of the swing, then there's an omega here, and this is omega is one which it says is 30 radians per second. Great. And what else? We know that the moment of inertia of the bat is 0.5 kilogram meter squared. I is 0.5 kilogram meter squared. That's the moment of inertia of the bat. Okay, good. And what else do we know? And that is, he tells us that the delta T for this to happen is 50 milliseconds. MS, milliseconds, M is a milli. Gotta be careful, M stands for milli, also stands for meters. Gotta watch the difference, okay. So then, what is that we wanna find? For part A, what we're trying to find here is the torque. Okay, so we need some kind of a physics principle here. And in fact, we're gonna use this angular motion stuff that we've used before. And so we have these angular motion equations, theta equals theta zero plus omega zero t plus one half alpha t squared. Omega equals omega zero plus alpha t. Omega squared equals omega zero squared plus two alpha times theta minus theta zero. And there's one more. And that other one has to do with the cause of all this stuff. Just as forces cause accelerations, torques cause angular accelerations. And the equation for that says torque equals I alpha. Very analogous, as you can see, to F equals MA. Great. So what we're after then is torque. <laughs> well, the last equation gives it away, doesn't it? Torque is I alpha. So we're trying to find the torque. Um, we know what I is, was given in the problem. Well, we don't know alpha. Uh, so we're gonna need another equation to find alpha. So then what can we find here? Um, let's see, how about alpha? Can we try this one? Um, omega, that's the final of the um, angular velocities. That's known. Omega zero, it says it starts from rest, and so that's zero. And then alpha, we don't know, and t, ah, we know it. So there we go, we can find the alpha from that equation. The alpha, it says, is omega over t. And so alpha. So we can find that, it's not much of a problem. Um, so torque is I alpha know this, now we know that, so the only thing we don't know is torque, we're gonna to get it. Okay, so then, here we go. We can say uh, torque is I times omega over T, like so. And so what's that all together? It is 0.5 kilogram meter squared times the um, theta 30 radians per second divided by the T, which it says is 50 milliseconds, 50 times 10 to the minus three seconds. I just put in the 10 to the minus three because milli is a 10 to the minus three. Why not just put it in? You can do it on the side if you like, but I'll just put it in there like so. So what does that turn out to be? After all of the dust clears, we have 300 Newton meters. 
So there's the torque, 300 newton meters. Is that a lot? Not a lot? Hard to judge about torque, you may not have much feeling for that. Okay. There's a B part to the question, and the B part says, through what angle does the bat move in units of revolutions? Angle. Huh. You know what that is. Angle, that means we got to use one of these equations, don't we? So then which one shall we use? Um, well, we used one of the others before. Let's use this one. Let's use the one that says omega squared equals omega zero squared plus two alpha, oops, not much of an alpha here, plus two alpha times theta, because theta zero is zero. So, do we know omega? Yeah, 30 radians per second. Do we know omega zero? Yeah, it starts from rest. Do we know alpha? Um, well, actually, we knew alpha almost here, didn't we? Because we were going to find it. We didn't bother, but we could have found it. And what would it have been? It would have been omega, which is 30 radians per second, divided by t, which is 550, times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. And so the result of this is 3 fifths point six times 10 to the minus 3 radians per second squared. What? <laughs> what? <laughs>